Welcome back. I'm looking at a rapid game that I played last night and trying to figure out why I lost, what I did wrong. That's part of my process. Every time I play a game, blitz, uh, rapid, daily, whatever, I always analyze it afterwards. Not always immediately. I played this one pretty late last night and decided not to analyze it until this morning. But regardless, this is how I decided to improve. I'm going to look at this and figure out what I did wrong. Now, one thing that went wrong was somehow Lee Chess paired me with a player uh, rated higher than the range that I had set. So I don't know if that was a glitch or it couldn't find anyone to pair me with that was within my the range that I set. I usually set 100 points above me and 100 points below me. Uh, this one was more than 100 points above me. Um, but that turned out to not be that big of a deal. I ended up with multiple chances to win uh, several times during the game, including the position you see here that I had the advantage. Uh, the second thing that went wrong, both my opponent and I played far too quickly for a 10 minute rapid game. Here after 16 moves, my opponent has used less than a minute. There was no increment, but my opponent has used 56 seconds at this point. Now I've used almost two minutes, but that's that's still not enough. I'm, I wasn't taking enough time on these moves, especially this next one. Now right here is a place where, as you can see on the screen, I had, you know, uh, a decent advantage, especially for black, especially playing against a player, you know, rated 100 points higher than me. And I blundered here. And I'm trying to figure out why. Now, I know that the move that I ended up playing was not great, but I'm trying to figure out why the engine moves are considered so great. The first move, the top move that it's suggesting for me is H6, pawn move. And I cannot, for the life of me, figure out why that's a good move. So I've been sitting here thinking maybe it prevents the knight from coming in to G5, but I already have, I already have a queen preventing that, right? I, I can already prevent knight from coming to g5. Um, the other thing I could think of is that this pawn move would give the bishop a place to hide behind it if I, if I needed to at some point because, uh, you know, this bishop's under pressure. Right now it can move back, but then it's stuck. So, you know, maybe that's it. But uh, otherwise I can't figure out what's good about h6. I, the second move that's recommended to me is rook a to d8. Which, uh, I guess, I mean, it gets it out of the corner, but I, other than that, I can't figure out what's the, what's the big deal here because this battery's not going anywhere, right? We're, we're not coming into that pawn. So why, why do I want that rook here? I can't figure that out. I, it, could, it can't be to prevent the pawn push because I already have three pieces guarding that square right there, right? I mean, that pawn's not moving forward, not right now. So that, that I also can't figure out. Now, the third best move I can figure out. You can see that it, the third best move it recommends to me is b6. That makes a, a lot of sense in hindsight. Uh, it, it protects this pawn. Not that the pawn's in grave danger right now, but, I mean, that's just, you know, connect three, get the pawn chain going. That makes sense. Uh, if I move my queen at any point, then this pawn is going to be hanging. So that move definitely makes sense than what I did, which was that. That obviously, uh, that was bad just because I, I, and here I spent 20 seconds. No, I spent four, almost 40 seconds on this move. Wasn't sure what to do. And that, that bugs me now because it's so obvious that the opponent's going to retake, force me to move the queen. The knight then is going to be hit by the bishop. The rooks are seeing each other now. All kinds of chaos ensues. So, yeah, in hindsight, uh, pawn to b6 makes a lot more sense. Now, the second place, but I blundered and gave the opponent the advantage. Uh, we took, you know, I made a mistake by moving the queen too far and not protecting the pawn. But not too late, not too much later, my opponent made a couple of mistakes. Actually, two blunders on move 19 and 20 which left me in this position. They didn't take this pawn when they had the chance. And I was able to move, finally move b6 up to protect it. And so now they have played b4, which was a blunder for fairly obvious reasons. There's only one good move here, and 
in hindsight, it's it's obvious. It's to take the pawn. Knight captures b4. That gets the knight out of this uh, pressure here. Um, it it hits this pawn. It hits that pawn. Uh, that would be a great spot for the knight, uh, and it would you know it'd be protected by by the c pawn. All kinds of greatness right there. I played the second best move, which is not great at all, which was here. And then, I mean, that's not horrible, but we are going to have some pawn captures here. And then I made the next blunder, which was that. And from then on, I didn't have a chance. But... I went, you know, back on the first position, the, the first two moves that it suggested, I, I'm still, I still don't understand those. Maybe one of you do, and if you do, feel free to mention it in the comments. Uh, but I, I do understand the third best move to build my pawn chain here. That makes complete sense. And in the second position where I had the advantage, now this is so obvious to me to put the knight there. Uh, that one, I didn't need any explanation. As soon as I saw it, I, I realized, well, that's definitely what I should have done. So, uh, thank you for watching. Like I said, if, if you have any uh, any explanations uh, for these two moves, feel free to let me know. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to work on playing a little more slowly in rapid games. This game ended on move 34 here where I resigned, and I still had four minutes left. So, I, you know, I should have used some more of that time, especially on that last blunder here instead of moving in five seconds. I made that move in five seconds instead of thinking about it and hitting that. So that's part of my process. This is what I do every day, even if I don't make a video about it. Um, we're going we're gonna to get increment, incrementally better, and, uh, and pretty soon <laughs> I won't have to make videos about how bad I am. Thanks for watching.